And uh, welcome to European News Weekly. Uh, we have a special broadcast uh, that we're putting out uh, this week uh, on the 6th of uh, November. Um, now it's concerning the um, uh, Amanda and uh, Emma Kelly, uh, who have basically been uh, seeking justice uh, for the, uh, concerning the circumstances of the death of their brother, John Kelly, in 2008 in Dublin, in Ireland. Uh, now, so what we've We've done before on the 12th of July 2015 on uh, europeannewsweekly.wordpress.com. Uh, we posted a, a, an interview with uh, Amanda and Emma uh, discussing all the issues around this. Um, and since then, obviously, they've been campaigning hard to try and get something done. Um, now, we have an update now. And uh, I think we'll just go straight to uh, uh, Emma and Amanda. Uh, we'll have this whole uh, interview on our European News Weekly dot wordpress dot com website um, and we'll have all the links to uh, email um, sort of campaigns and various other things so uh, basically uh, we'll go straight to Emma and Amanda now um, now welcome uh, Emma and Amanda to the show once again um, now there's obviously been developments in uh, the campaign and uh, in your you know in your campaign to uh, to highlight this issue um, would you like to um, uh, sort of break down what's been happening over the last sort of six months, if that's okay. Hi, Sean. How are you? Hi. That's Amanda. Amanda, is it? Yes. Amanda, yeah. Oh, it's Emma. Emma. Oh, <laughs> you swapped around. I thought it was <laughs> Okay. So, all right. Uh, Emma. So, yeah, if you'd like to give us a sort of little um, uh, sort of history of, of uh, what's happened over the last six months in trying to get the information out uh, uh, concerning this, uh, this campaign. Yeah, yeah, well, since the last time we spoke to you now, we, we've, um, we've set up a Facebook page, or sorry, a website, um, obviously all our information and our links and our prime times are in that website, and we've also set up an email campaign, so basically every time this email campaign is signed, all the TDs, senators, you know, the, the, the local councillors, they all get an email about this. And it's basically requesting the Minister for Justice to actually open up and investigate John's debt. So we've been trying to push that and um, we we were on prime time as well on the, what was it, the 6th, 6th of October? So, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, and that would be prime time in our Irish TV, would it, on Irish TV? Yeah, it's prime time Irish TV. Sorry, Sean, it's Amanda here. I'm jumping in. Sure, <laughs> um, it's okay. Yeah, so basically, what what has happened is, um, prime time Irish TV has done a um, a piece, basically, um, not just our family but other families. There were six families highlighted, um, that's actually involved with the re review mechanism in Ireland, um, and we're all seeking justice. So there was there was. A piece done on that just to highlight what is going on and these cases i mean they're all very high profile cases and related to um debts um so we we took part in that and um, just to kind of highlight john's case again and um, as emma said we did set up our email campaign our website is www.justiceforjohnkelly excuse me dot com um so we've we've put the website together really just to put all the information into one place so people aren't having to go looking up links and different things so it's really just to bring it all together. All right that's good. Uh, have you got anything to, to say Jimmy at all? Well I, I was going to I, I was just thinking here because you were you, you were mentioning there Amanda and Emma about the um, the prime time show that was done on not just John's case, but on a, a, a couple of different cases. Uh, I think you mentioned six cases. How did you feel that that show um, sort of portrayed the case? Did you think it done the case justice, or do, 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 do you still feel that it may it fallen short on its reporting of some of the issues involved? Um, yeah, look, we, we only got a very small bit in it, um, and, and that's okay, um, because with the other cases that are in it, you know, they need they really needed to be highlighted. Um, I mean, obviously, we would have wanted to put a lot more in there, um, but uh, as we said already, you know, we're putting a lot of information out to the public anyway, so any little thing is good, 
it just highlights it. But I think the whole thing with prime time is actually highlighting the whole review mechanism, and um, not just our family, as I said, but other families. So I, I think, yeah, like it, it was good. We got it out there, you know. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, and and Khmer, um what about? independent TDs because we myself and Sean do uh, cover a lot of the independents here quite regularly uh, are the independents fully behind you in in your campaign uh, of, of, of uh, pushing this case a little bit forward and getting some justice for John yeah we do we do have um, some TDs behind us um, we have been in touch with Claire Daly um, and um, she, she has been brilliant. She really has. Um, but uh, regarding other TDs, to be quite honest with you, you really need to be pushing them, and we shouldn't have to be pushing them. No. You know, and um, you're either behind us or you're not behind us. You're either with the people or you're not with the people. And um, it's as simple as that. But as I said, like Claire Daly has, she has been brilliant. So we have that support, and um, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good because Claire Claire Daly has a has has a sweet little spot for um, myself and Sean as well too. I uh, believe so. I think I'll just give it over to you, Sean, if you want to uh, bring the conversation sure. any other directions. Well, I'll just lead on from there. Actually, with the uh, independent TDs, uh, some independent TDs have have uh, possibly contacted uh, uh, the uh, uh, commission uh, or something uh, with some emails. Um, and I think uh, as you you have about six months ago, was it? Uh, would you like to sort of tell us how that's going on? Um, well, basically what we've been doing is like we, we have been emailing an awful lot of TDs and we're, we're trying to like just open a communication channel, I suppose, and um, just ask them for their support. Um, to be honest, we're, we're not really getting very far with them. Um, again, it's... It, oh, they refer us back to GSOC, which is a joke in itself, to be honest, you know. Mm -hmm. We didn't get out of GSOC. They're not independent. It's pretty clear they're not. So why are you wasting our time referring us back to them? You know, it, it, it's not a game. You know, our brother lost his life. Don't be insulting us like that, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess we just kind of have to keep going with it. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot to say on it, to be honest. Right, okay. And um, uh, has any other media taken up your calls, uh, you know, sort of uh, in the in the sort of uh, Irish media circles? Yeah, well, we've actually, yesterday now, we were in touch with a reporter from um, the Star newspaper. Um, we will be also doing a, a piece with Broadsheet. Um, so, okay. yeah, it has. It's kind of like people are kind of coming to us now which is good. Um, so we're hoping to get a good piece in the Star newspaper. Um, yeah, we've kind of held off, I suppose, with, with reporters, um, mainly because of, um, the, mainly because of, you know, our past um, history with them, with them kind of coming to us and taking stories, not really putting the truth out there. So we're just hoping now that the truth will be put out there, you know. Okay, well, obviously, with the interviews that we, we've done, which we'll link to in our uh, WordPress uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, article to, uh, that we'll put up tonight, uh, basically, we'll, uh, you know, people can find out what all those details are. Also, on your website itself, which you have uh, linked the video, uh, the, the interview with, uh, basically, and other uh, materials as well, um, I would say people should go to the, your website um, and then basically, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how things uh you know they'll see be able to see how how the whole situation has developed over time because it's a very uh, good website that you've done um now it's uh, just to confirm it's www.justiceforjohnkelly.com so that's the website to go to for uh, for other information uh, we'll obviously get other information up. Uh, it's really good to hear the stars actually uh, uh, stepped forward, and the broadsheet. Uh, you know, we, we, we've uh, definitely uh, uh, liked some of the stuff they do. Mm -hmm. uh, they are the more uh, independent uh, sort of uh, story uh, tellers in Ireland, um, and hopefully we'll see get to see more. Um, what, what obviously how is how is the email petition going at the moment? So you have an email petition, I believe. 
Yeah, we have it up. Um, it's going slowly, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're just, I guess we're, we're tweeting about it and different things like that. So it's like even talking to yourselves. Um, it's, it's things like this that people need to be aware of it. Um, so I guess the social media, you know, we're just trying to really get it out there. Um, but it's, it's like anything, it's a process. And it just well, has to keep building. We should ask people that listen to this podcast and uh, to, to basically, you know, uh, get hold of this on, uh, on the Facebook. Um, I will post up a link to it on my uh, Sean, S-E-A-N, Arclight, A-R-C-L-I-G-H-T on Facebook. Um, I'll do that a bit later. Um, and uh, we'll basically also have that posted up uh, on our WordPress site as well, europeannewsweekly.wordpress.com. So, um, all right, is there anything else you'd like to say uh, um, concerning the situation or anything else that you, you've been thinking about? Yeah, um, we would like to just add that um, September gone, yeah. September gone, um, the Garda had actually made contact with her family for the first time since John died um, to say that um, inf new information has been, information has been given to the Garda and they actually received this information in 2014. Um, relating to John's death, but it's only coming to light now. So they have made contact with us to say they have this information and um, it highlights that um, it is vital information. And um, so we, we have basically said, okay, well now that this has come forward, we're assuming that um, he's opening um, an investigation into John's death, but we have been told that it, it is very clear that they are not um, investigating John's death, and um, rather they are investigating the information, which really doesn't make sense. But we have six weeks ago, we contacted the Minister for Justice to highlight that this information has been come, come forward and that it needed to be um, included in the ind independent review mechanism. So we have contacted them and we have not had a response. We had an acknowledgement of our, of our letter, but no response. So we have since um, rang the, the minister's office a few times we have emailed again and we have not had a response now we really didn't want to go public with this but to be honest we're not getting a re response so uh, what do you do we're what, being ignored we're being ignored and we're like going okay well this is vital information that could lead to you know finding out what happened finding to john. out what happened to john and there, again we're being ignored no, it so, does sound, um, sound a, a little bit callous and um, so, I mean, basically, you know, we're sort of waiting. I mean, you know, in terms of actually uh, contacting the press, I mean, I think it, it's, uh, it's a very valid way of dealing with it. I mean, the government are always using the press to get their, their uh, messages out. Um, I think uh, there's, there's yeah, no, yeah. it's good that your, uh, your, your uh, campaign is getting some traction and, uh, and it's uh, important uh, that we, we note uh, where uh, sort of, um, should we say, government bodies are not... Uh, sort of doing their job and uh, the, you know uh, I, th I think uh, there should be a lot more compassion to your situation uh, it should be dealt with a lot more sensitively and uh, uh, ignoring you is uh, just a, a, a terrible uh, sign of the times I'm afraid but uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get to hear from them. The thought that I was having there um, so, while, um, while the story's been told there because normally when um, if Gardaí have been given information about a case, they will say, oh, we can't speak about it just uh, in case it might interfere with an investigation. But if, I, I, I think it's quite strange that they would tell you that, like, oh, um, we're not investigating the case, but we're investigating the information. I find that quite strange. It, that, that, that doesn't make sense to me. No. Yeah. <laughs> you see, and, and this is what we've highlighted. We're like, oh, well, hope this, this information has, has come forward. And not only, I mean, it's only coming to light now. It's 2015, they received this information in 2014. So you're like, I think under the circumstances, what, everything that's going on, it just doesn't make sense to say, well, yeah, we're, we're not investigating. It's like, well, what are you doing? So, yeah, well, how could you know? the information not be connected to the case? Like, if the information is not connected to the case, well, why is it worth investigating? You know, so... Yeah. <laughs> just, oh, dear, dear. I, I think, you know, just, just fr from my own perspective, like, on my own studies over 
the last uh, six months with Sean here and uh, working through some of the information and the, uh, the stories we've been learning from Integrity Ireland. I think you must be feeling a little bit frustrated with the with, with that institution which uh, is called GSOC, which is supposed to be there as an oversight body to the Garda Shia Corner, but what we found out is that GSOC don't do any investigations, but what they do is they hand the investigation over to a Garda member which will investigate the Garda. So, um, I, would, it, would it be fair to say that you must be frustrated with, with the whole institution at this stage? Oh, yeah, I mean, at this stage, we have no, we've no faith in the institution. Um, I mean, to be quite honest, how we've been treated and how other families have been treated by our, by our own government is just, it's a disgrace, it really, really is. I mean, to, even down to us emailing and trying to contact the minister and having no response, well, what does that say? You know, it really doesn't. And in a sense, like, when we're talking about doing our, our prime time thing, um, the prime time that recently just aired, it was really good to have that because it really highlights um, not just our family, but it highlights other families and um, exactly what's going on in Ireland. Um, and it's, it is a disgrace. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but unfortunately, though, I think myself and Sean are all too well aware of what's going on. And uh, we have no, there's no doubt in our mind that... Uh, the, the the odds are stacked against you, haven't like um, I, I hate to have to say this, like you know, but this, this is your show, like. But it just from what we've learned, like the, the odds are stacked against you getting the resolution in this matter, and it's it, it sickens me to the core. But what more can I say? But we keep plugging on, nonetheless, you know, and and, and we keep trying to highlight these topics and hope that enough people will sort of like start waking up to it in a sense and uh, and seeing it for what it is like um so um well fortunately seeing that the star has uh, picked up on it and uh, it sounds like the broadsheet also um this is a good sign anyway mm. so yeah. you know if we're going if we're going to uh, move forward it will be with the uh, social media and alternative media pushing uh, maybe the mainstream to start covering the story and, and look at the bigger picture as we've been talking about about good, other families as well. Good point, Sean. Um, good yeah. point, Sean. Yeah. So, uh, so we're doing we're doing the best we can, and uh, I suppose we could uh, round it up uh, really by saying thank you so much, Emma and Amanda, for coming along once again. Um, it's uh, you, you are a great pair of uh, sisters, I have to say. We, we do we, we try not to laugh too much, you know, because it's kind of a serious subject. But uh, obviously, there's a there's a, a sort of a, you, you you have a good nature, um, and uh, I just hope that uh, that the uh, powers that be will realise that you do indeed have a good nature, and that you're just asking the questions and just wanting some simple answers. Um, and I hope that you do get those answers. So um, thank you so much for coming, girls. Uh, hopefully you'll be back again for an update uh, with some hopefully good news. Uh, uh, would that be a fair comment? Yeah, and we we'll will. We'll, we'll be back soon with good news. And guys, thanks a million for having us back. It really, it really does make all the difference, and we really appreciate your support. And yeah, thanks a million. No, no problem, and uh, good luck with all your future contacts with the press. I hope that uh, they get some hear some of the important picture uh, the story pieces of your story and uh, they tie the connection with uh, other families as well and, and thank you so much for being a spokesman for those families as, uh, as well as for your own campaign and cause. Um, thank you. Great. Thanks thank Sean you. and Jimmy, thanks a million. Good night Amanda and Emma. Take care my, my sweethearts. Take care. We'll chat to you soon. Okay Take guys. Care.